what's up guys it's obsidian shinobi here and today we have a cloud basic combat guide for you so today we're going to go through the bread and butter of cloud strife's basic combat and what makes him tick both offensively and defensively now if you're ready hit that like button and let's get started starting off with cloud's default mode which is operator mode in this mode he's very agile and very mobile and able to quickly maneuver around the field mode you have your basic 5 hit combo which you perform by pressing square 5 times. Now the speed at which you can output this combo depends on how quickly you press the square button. I personally think this is a nice touch to add as it allows the player to control Cloud's movement and gives the player a lot of agency and freedom in terms of controlling the flow of combat with Cloud. What's amazing about Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth Combat and it also in Remake was that you could always cancel in between a combo string to perform an ability. What's great about Cloud's Operator Mode is that it allows him to perform an AoE attack when you hold down square, allowing to clear enemies and be great for crowd control. This is especially useful when dealing with lighter enemies such as you can see here on the screen. However, once you do do this AoE attack move, it does start his basic combo string all over again. But that's not a problem to be honest. Now that we're done with the operator mode ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to my favourite mode, Punisher mode. Now despite Cloud starting every battle in operator mode, you're allowed to switch to Punisher mode by the simple press of the triangle button. Now Punisher mode essentially works as a second stance for Cloud. But in this mode, however, his mobility is severely decreased. The reason being for this is because this mode is much more offensive. In this mode, Cloud's melee attack power is doubled. Therefore, once in this mode, Cloud's defense is decreased, but his offense is increased, allowing for some high risk, high reward combat. Whilst in this mode, Cloud is able to parry opponents and counter attack. Now, there's two different ways to perform these parries. Let me show you. Hold R1 if you know an enemy is going to do a melee attack on you and you'll still parry them, however you'll just take slight damage. The other way to do that is to press triangle just before an enemy hits you, by then you'll see a white kind of cloud or mist around cloud. Once you press triangle at the last second before an enemy hits you, you will then see the words immune around cloud which means you performed a perfect parry and then cloud will then do two counter attacks as opposed to one for the basic parry. You ever want to exit punisher mode? Simply press triangle and he'll do a slash attack so the enemy will still take damage or press circle while in punisher mode to dodge and then he'll go back into operator mode. The precision defense focus material which allows you to increase the timing window for a precision block and then at level 2 will then increase the pressure damage you do to an enemy upon a precision block execution. However in this mode just to balance it out the developers thought that Cloud should not be able to parry ranged attacks. Overall I think this is quite fair because in operator mode you can actually block them and do a perfect block which will then render them ineffective. I feel like this is an amazing thing to have as it will keep the player on their toes and allow them to know when to quickly be able to switch between Punisher and Operator mode in combat. One thing I would advise though personally is making sure you read enemy attacks and then maybe switch into Punisher mode when an enemy is staggered to maximize your damage output. I will be going through in later guides how to use different characters together to maximize damage output when an enemy is staggered so still stay tuned for those guys. One of the biggest complaints in Final Fantasy VII Remake was the aerial combat. You could hardly do any hits or combos at all in the air, but now you can actually stay in the air now. So simply press circle, dodge forward, and press square, and then hold square. You will track the enemy, and then you'll start fighting them in the air. Now, as you may have noticed, Cloud is doing his deadly dodge animation, which actually required a whole materia in Remake. Now. They've incorporated that into his base attacks, which now means we have space to use other more important materials in the game. You'll notice that when you're in the air, if you keep pressing circle, you can actually stay in the air for quite some time. And also, if you have enough ATB, you can actually use certain abilities such as Firebolt Blade uh, to actually stay in the air or use Braver as a combo finisher, which I think looks absolutely disgusting. Like you think you're playing an action game sometimes when you're playing this. To simply exit aerial combat, just tap circle and Cloud will teleport back to the ground. 
I really do look forward to seeing what characters like Yuffie can do in the air, especially considering that her aerial combat in the last game was already so broken. They literally gave us a taste of what aerial combat would be like in this game, and I'm all for it. Using all these skills that I've explained together in combat mixed with your other allies' abilities as well will help really elevate your skill level and help you master the combat in this game. Stay tuned for an advanced combat guide for Cloud and also basic combat guides for Tifa, Aerith, Barrett and Red13 as well as Yuffie and Kate Sith as well. See you guys on February 29th for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Obsidian Shinobi signing off.